Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and in this video I am going to show you 17 powerful features for this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about using Gemini to highlight key points. For example, you are scrolling through a website and you want to highlight key points. So just swipe from this corner like this. It will open the Gemini. Then you can select this option of ask about this screen. So it will take a screenshot for this page. Then you can ask Gemini about anything. For example, here I will write highlight key points. And then I will send this command to Gemini and then Gemini will start analyzing this page and it will highlight key points. So here is the final result. Then you can copy this information. So here is the copy option. Now you can access this text through your clipboard. So for example, I open my notes and then I will take out the edge panel. So here is the copied text. Then you can press and hold it like this and then you can drag and drop it to your notes and later if you want you can also highlight it you can also edit it the next feature is about voice recording and transcript inside samsung notes for example you have a lecture going on and you want to do the audio recording of that lecture so select this plus icon and then select voice recording it will start recording the lecture and in the meantime you can also take your notes once you finish with your recording you can select this stop option your recording will attach to your notes the next thing is you can also get a transcript of that voice recording select this list option and then select this t icon and then from here you have to select this option of transcribe so ai will start generating a transcript for your voice recording so here is the transcript you can also get a summary so here is the summary option the next thing is you can also bring this text to your notes so just use your s pen press and hold it like this and then you can easily drag and drop this recording to your notes and later if you want you can also do the editing you can also highlight it the next feature is about this official book cover keyboard for Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus. So here at the back side we have this kickstand. You can open it and then you can adjust it to any position and then you can use your tablet with keyboard. You also have the option to cover your S Pen. So here is the cover for S Pen. You can open it like this and then you can insert your S Pen like this. It will magnetically attach and then you can cover your S Pen as well. So guys this keyboard has a lot of functions for example if you want to turn on the samsung dex so you just have to press this command key and then you have to press this dex key it will turn on the samsung dex so guys inside samsung dex you will have complete desktop experience so here you can see you have your apps over here and you also have your apps available in your taskbar you can also use this trackpad so for example if i want to open multiple apps i can easily open and i can also resize these apps as well so here you can see i can resize these apps and i can work on all of these apps together the next thing is this keyboard also has this new ai key so if i press this ai key it will open the gemini and now i can ask anything from gemini so you can easily close this book cover and this is how it looks like from the back and this is how it looks like from the front the sides are open but your tablet is fully protected so if you want to remove this cover so this cover has two parts so if you want to remove the keyboard you can easily remove the keyboard and here at the back side we have this back cover so if you want to remove it you can also easily remove it because it is magnetically attached the next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. So whatever I copy on one Samsung device, it will also be available on my Galaxy Tab S10 Plus. For example, I will take out this edge panel and you can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now let's say I open a website on my Samsung phone and for example, I like this image. So I will copy this image. I will press and hold it like this and then I will select copy image. Now the same image will be available on my tab s10 plus now this time if i take out the edge panel you can see the same image is available on my clipboard and now i can use this image for example i open my notes and then i will take out the edge panel i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later i can edit it 
The next feature is about smart select tool. So if you want to select a specific part of your screen, you can use smart select tool. So I will open the air command and then from here I will open smart select tool. And now you can select any part of your screen using S Pen. For example, I want to select this image. So I will circle around this image. And you can see the image is selected. You can also crop it as well. The next thing is you can do a lot of things with this image. You can save this image. You can add it to your notes and you can also extract text from this image. So for example, I want to extract the text. So I will select this T icon and then I will select add to note and then I will select add to new note. So the same text that I extract from this image is now available in my notes and I can use it. The next thing is, for example, you are scrolling through a website and you find some interesting information and you want to save that information. So you can use smart select tool. So I will open the air command and then I will open the smart select tool. And now you can circle around any text. For example, I will circle around this text like this and you can see the text is now selected. And then you can select this option of add to note. So I will select add to note, then I will select add to new note. So the same text is now available in my notes and later I can use it. The next feature is about auto format handwritten notes. For example, I open my notes and now I want to auto format these handwritten notes. I will select this note assist tool and then I will select auto format and then I will select meeting notes and then I will select generate text layout. So the AI will start converting these handwritten notes into text and then it will also organize it to headings and bullet points. So here you can see the final result. Now you can just scroll it like this and it will show you other formats as well. The next feature is about sketch to image inside notes. For example, I open my notes and here I draw this sketch using my S Pen. Now I want to convert it into an AI image. So I will select this note assist tool, then I will select sketch to image. Now I will use my S Pen and now I will circle around this sketch. And here it will give me different options. So for example, if I select this style option, here I can select any style. So I can select illustration, sketch, pop art, 3D cartoon or watercolor. So I will select watercolor and then I will select generate. Now AI will start generating an AI image for that sketch and then you can use that image. So here is the final result. You can scroll it for more options. So here you can select any styles. So you can see now you can use it in your notes and you can also save it in your gallery. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next feature is about taking notes on videos. For example, you are watching a video and you want to take notes in the meantime. So just press this S Pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this. It will open the Samsung notes and and here you can start taking your notes. Now you can see this note taking app is blocking the view behind. So what you can do is just select this blue bar, select the opacity icon and then from here you can reduce the opacity of this note taking app. Now you can see the video behind and now you can also take your notes. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of video and notes. Just bring down this quick panel and then select screen recorder and then select start recording. So after this countdown, your screen recording will start. The next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your screen, you can use this pen tool from screen recorder and now you can highlight anything important in your screen. You can also turn on the front camera. So here is the front camera option and now you can move your front camera anywhere on your screen. Once you finish with your screen recording, you can select this stop option. Your screen recording will save in your gallery and later you can access it. The next feature is about multitasking. 
so you can open three different apps in split screen for example i open this website and now i want to take my notes so i will just drag and drop this note taking app in split screen and now i can start taking my notes and i can also use this website the next thing is you can also bring any image from a website to your notes for example i want to bring this image i will press and hold it like this and then i will select this option of clip subject from background so it will only select this image part without these labelings now i will use my s pen and now i can easily drag and drop this image to my notes and later if you want you can also edit it the next thing is same way you can also drag any text from a website to your notes for example i want to bring this text so i will start selecting this text so for example i will select till here now i want to bring it to my notes i will press and hold it like this and i can easily drag and drop this text to my notes and later if you want you can highlight it you can also edit it the next thing is you can also bring whole web page to your notes so for example here i open this website and now i want this website to my notes so you can see i have this option of link and whole page i will select this whole page option and now it will start adding this whole website to my notes and later i can also annotate it using all of these tools so you just have to wait for a few seconds and then you can see i have the same website now available in my notes with the same images and same text now for example if you want to use different tools for example i will use this pen tool i can write on it i can use this highlighter tool the next thing is you can also use this page sorter option and now you can access any of these pages inside your website the next feature is about circle to solve math for example i will write this equation and now i want to solve this equation so what i will do is i will press and hold this home button and then i will use my s pen and then i will circle around this equation and then i will get the answer so here is the answer and if you want to see the steps so you can select this arrow and here you can see all the solving steps if you scroll down more here you will get more information about this equation now you can use this information in your notes now let's talk about notes ai features for example i open my notes and here i have this pdf file now i want to generate a summary for this pdf file so i will select this note assist tool and then i will select summarize and then i will select maximum and then i select generate summary so the ai will start analyzing this whole pdf and then it will generate a summary so here is the summary for this pdf now you can copy it and you can also add it to your notes you can also use this new handwriting help tool so now whatever you write it will automatically align it to the straight line so this will be really really helpful in your handwritings you can also use this new laser pointer tool and this will be really helpful in your presentations you can also change the color for your laser pointer for example i select this blue color and now i can use this color for my presentations now let's talk about s pen so guys this s pen is included with samsung galaxy tab s10 plus and this s pen has lot of functionalities for example if you want to take a screenshot you just have to press this s pen button and then just do this air gesture it will take the screenshot for you and then you can do all your editing the next thing is if you want to turn on the camera you just have to press and hold this s pen button so i will press and hold my s pen button it will turn on the camera and now for example if you want to take the picture again you just have to press this button and it will take the picture for you the next thing is for example your tablet is locked and you are in a hurry and you want to write something important so you just have to press this s pen button and then tap on the screen two times like this it will open the screen of memo and and here you can write anything important once you finish with your writing you can select this save option and your screen of memo will be saved in your samsung notes the next feature is about creating an ai image from a photo for example i open my gallery and now i want to create an ai image for this photo so i will select this photo assist tool and then i will select portrait studio and then here i have different options so i can select comic 3d cartoon watercolor or sketch 
for example i will select comic and then i will select generate so the ai will start generating an image and then you can use that image you just have to wait for a few seconds so here is the final result so you can scroll it like this and it will show you different styles so you can use any of these styles the next feature is about study mode so if i bring down this quick panel and then i will select modes and then i will select study mode so grayscale will turn on restriction applies on specific apps and i can only use apps that are related to my studies so this will be really helpful to focus on my studies now let's do a comparison between samsung galaxy tab s10 plus and galaxy tab s10 ultra so guys the hardware and software are almost same for both of these devices the only difference is size and front camera so the size for galaxy tab s10 plus is 12.4 inches and the size for tab s10 ultra is 14.6 inches and tab s10 plus has single selfie camera on the other side the tab s10 ultra has dual selfie camera so both of these tablets have media tech dimensity 9300 plus chipsets both are available in 12 gb of ram they both have dynamic amoled 2x display with 120 hertz of refresh rate and both have same rear cameras so i prefer samsung galaxy tab s10 plus because it is more portable and easy to carry on the other side the tab s10 ultra is more of a static device because of its larger 14.6 inch display now i can do the size comparison so i will put tab s10 plus on top of galaxy tab s10 ultra so here you can see the size difference you can also see the size difference with official book cover keyboard for both of these tablets so guys this is for today's video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much